Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. Just an update here on uh, AT and T. Uh, well, it's going down, so I don't know what's going on. But AT and T has uh, been having a great day, I would say. Uh, if I would have known that, I would have maybe bought the dip there, but didn't. Uh, here's kind of what they've done over the uh, last three months. Uh, Could have got in at a very good price there at uh, twenty-seven eighty-nine. Uh, back in uh, February and ever since then it's just uh, been running up so it'll be interesting to see how much higher this one goes I've always tried to buy uh, this one like at the 29 below the $29 range and I used to trade this one and then it hit 31 and then I sold it and then I bought back into it and um, so it's always been a long uh, term hold of mine um, but had a nice run up there even so uh, but say what you want about the AT&T go ahead and leave it in the uh, comments I know a lot of people out there don't like this one because of their debt uh, the business practices and so on uh, but I think they're working on that and um, as you can see by the uh, stock price um, um, I don't really care about all that stuff I guess as long as they keep paying that fat dividend and uh, run the uh, stock price up a little bit it makes me happy so uh, but now I wish I would have bought some more if I'd have known it was going to run up like this I can't remember the last time I saw it above uh, $32 or even above $31 so uh, but it, I used to have about 30 shares I have a uh, 16 here now I have the uh, morning retirement and they just sit there on drip and do their thing and I buy them from time to time uh, but my cost basis here is uh, 28.59 if you don't know what AT&T is, feel free to pause and go over that. Uh, been around since 1983. $229 billion market cap. And not the greatest of ratings, currently at a hold. And here's the earnings. It looks like um, dead on on this one. And a little bit lacking and a little bit lacking here. Otherwise, uh, it's been right on the uh, money. So... And as you can see, here's uh, my latest dividend, uh, just paid on uh, May 2nd. So 52 cents per share at 16, and you get those quarterly. Uh, this, where I bought them here, I couldn't pass this up. I wish I would have bought more, but I was scraping money together the way it was just to uh, buy these in a quick hurry. That's why I bought them here on Robin Hood, but... Um, couldn't pass that up when I saw below $28. That's uh, very rare, but um, couldn't pass that up, so I bought some there. And um, here's uh, looks like another shot that I tried taking at it. So this is both on the uh, 26th. Um, but so anyway, I uh, like AT&T. Um, like I said, they do have a lot of debt. Um, I think they're working on some things. They've been at a hold for quite some time, but huge company, nice dividend, so I'm going to continue to hold it until somebody proves me wrong. But um, I have uh, Verizon and uh, T-Mobile as well, but the biggest holding is uh, AT&T, so just uh, basically for that dividend. And it is a, a cheaper stock. Uh, maybe we'll see it hit 38 again, so we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but this is dated on the uh, 10th. Uh, goes over the uh, future of the 5G event on May 17th. Uh, so you might want to put that on your calendar. Uh, this kind of goes over a little bit more about uh, what AT&T is. Uh, the uh, prices went up since they got the HBO Max. Uh, I have HBO Max. Uh, it's kind of nice. You can watch uh, some of the movies um, that are in the uh, theaters. They... Uh, last for about a month on uh, HBO Max, but still kind of nice. Um, I like going to the theater, but uh, during the pandemic, everything was shut down, and everything's just gotten to be kind of in uh, lazy mode, and it's just kind of nice to stay home. So, therefore, HBO Max is uh, kind of nice to uh, have. So, still enjoy going to the theater, though, but uh, as long as I have HBO Max, probably won't be going to the theater, so it's too easy to stay home. Was the um, smart money right about AT&T? And this is just dated on the uh, 4th. So this kind of goes over some uh, 13F filings. Um, 
and then it also talks about some of the uh, hedge funds which is uh, kind of interesting about the end of the fourth quarter of 2020 in regards to uh, their holdings uh, there were 51 hedge funds in our database with uh, AT&T positions at the end of the uh, third quarter and so I found this uh, kind of uh, interesting and I'm not going to read it all to you so feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest there for yourself um, but there's quite a bit of information in here uh, again um, at the end of the uh, Q4 a total of 58 of the uh, hedge funds uh, tracked on the insider monkey held uh, long positions in the stock a chance at 14 percent from the previous quarter on the other hand, there were a total of 50 hedge funds uh, with a, a bullish position in T a year ago. And so here's kind of the uh, graph of the uh, number of hedge funds with uh, AT&T uh, positions. And still quite a bit of uh, information in here. Um, so some investors are bullish on the company, including LA Management. I'm... Uh, I've always kind of been uh, bullish on uh, AT&T. They've had their ups and downs, um, but I like the dividend. Um, they haven't taken it away, so uh, that's kind of nice. Um, here you can see uh, over the uh, hedge fund activity and other stocks um, in the same industry as AT&T. And a lot of these I like. I've talked about Pfizer numerous times. They have a nice dividend. I don't have any of uh, Salesforce. I have uh, quite a bit of uh, Intel don't have any of Abbott or Oracle I need to get some AbV I should have got some AbV when it was in the 90 or $100 range I think it's 117 18 or 120 now and I have some Cisco all of these stock market caps are closest to AT&T's uh, market cap and you can see the number of hedge fund positions Pfizer Salesforce Intel Abbott Oracle AbV and Cisco and again this kind of goes over some more information about the um, holdings so feel free to pause and uh, go over that information how many uh, AT&T uh, shares did insiders buy in the last year this is also dated on the uh, 10th uh, we often see insiders buying up shares in companies that perform well over the long term and since this one's uh, been doing pretty well here lately, might even see some more uh, buying into this one. We'll just have to uh, wait and see. I have mine set up on Drip in one account and um, not in another, so I'm just going to let it sit there and watch for a dip. And if it goes back down to like 30 or so, I might pick up some more, but we'll just have to wait and see. Just going to set on them for now since the uh, price is higher. This is the uh, price I always like to see it at and uh, buy some in, but my fear is uh, buying at the $32 range and then it uh, dips and um, then I would have to buy some more to a dollar cost average, but i um, just going to let it set and click the uh, dividends for now. So inside ownership of AT&T uh, kind of goes over some information there. Great to see that AT&T insiders own about 0.09% of the company, worth about uh, $214 million. And this kind of goes over about the what the uh, data suggests for AT&T insiders. So, like I said, this one's been considered a hold for quite some time, but... It's had its dips, and I've bought them, as I've uh, showed you, so uh, you can uh, get the dips on it. Uh, when some things don't go their way, or like when the uh, HBO Max uh, came out, it uh, went up, and I sold out of mine, and then it came back down, and then I bought back into it, so not much new updated information there on Reddit, so we'll check out StockTwits. Um... So you could have gone in at the, I just saw it there and it went away. The 52 week low was at uh, 26 something. Hate being little fish, $50 a week and forget about. It. 
I already collected my first dividend. Can't wait to see my payout in 20 years. So there's still a lot of people that hold this one. Uh, anytime I've done a video on it, I've had comments and people are in this one for the long run with the uh, dividend. And I was trading this one for a while just because it had some uh, nice swings and I was like, well, if it dips down, I'll just keep it because you can get the dividend. And so that's kind of what I did. Uh, here it's going over a $33 put expiring 7 16 21 HBO Max to the moon. <laughs> and they've been working on their uh, phone side of the business. It's um, getting pretty competitive. And um, I might actually uh, switch over to their uh, internet service. I'll just have to wait and see. So I'm still kind of watching it. Um, but they've had a lot of changes here in the uh, company, even though the. They still have a, a lot of debt. Um, again, that's, as I said earlier, a lot of people's fear with this one. But And here's a probably a big catalyst. I was just on HBO Max, and I saw a friend on there, and they've been planning a reunion set to air on HBO. Here it is on the 27. So that could be another catalyst for this one. So... Friends used to be on uh, Netflix, and then it ran out its contract, and now they're on uh, HBO Max, so. I've never really watched Friends, so. Bits and pieces, but back to uh, tip ratings, currently at 32.20, not the greatest ratings on here. It's actually shown a 2% downside of 31.50, and if it went back down, that wouldn't hurt my feelings. I'd try buying some more. I'd love to see it hit that again. I'd buy up some and sell some other stocks and buy some AT&T, but might hit this 36, so we'll just have to wait and see, but that's all I have on uh, AT&T. If you have AT&T, leave it in the comments. If you have Verizon, VZ, leave it, and uh, T-Mobile, T-M-U-S, leave that in the comments as well, and any thoughts whatsoever on AT&T would be appreciated. And I thank you for watching, and uh, smash the like have, if you haven't already, and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. And if you haven't subscribed, that would really help out the uh, channel to subscribe. I'm trying to hit a thousand uh, subs as soon as I can. So last I looked, I think I was at 880. So every little bit helps. So I thank you for all the support on the channel. Happy trading, happy investing. Stay green. Cheers.